This is Radio Baraka, the home of reggae and cool beach music. Webcasting live worldwide from Boracay, the Philippine Islands. This is 106.1 Radio Boracay. Rhythm of the ocean, music of the seashore. The preceding program was paid broadcast. Any ideas, comments, and opinion expressed by the program hosts do not necessarily reflect the views and opinion of the station. The program and its producers are not affiliated with the station. The Sonic Center of the Sun. Blazing, Blazing hot. All over the island of Baraka. Radio Baraka 106.1. Blazing all over the archipelago. Stand back. We don't know how hot this thing's gonna get. This is Baraka's best mix. RB. Oh, we can na stream uh, pagkakatao. Atin pong uh, pag-aaralan no, sa hapong ito about uh, building a strong marriage, no? Uh, nowadays, uh, news no concerning families, no, and uh, we would like to be a blessing, no, to Samantha. I will be reading 33. No? I will read as unto the Lord for the Savior of the body, everything. Husbands might sanctify having spot or ring of their word. Tayo po ay manalangin muna. Thank you for taking care. It's your word, katalinuhan. Patawarin mo po. Kagayon po ay uh, kami po ay makapagpakinig ng inyong salita sa hapong ito ng uh, maayos uh, ang aming mga isipan. Bless Lord our time together. This is our prayer in Jesus name. Amen. So again, no, I would say that uh, of the family is a uh, as is important no, to God. And uh, the three institutions actually no, na uh, ginawa ng Panginoon no, dito sa mundo is that uh, kung ating ma- matatandaan, no, I have said this before, no, yung government, no, yung uh, government, no, the church, and uh, the family, no? So yung tatlong yon no uh, uh, yun ay ginawa ng Panginoon and uh, when because God made it no and so it is important no napaka dapat lang na atin din itong pahalagahan no so sa hapong ito ay uh, tayo po ay mag-aaral no dito no sa Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 33 and we will be dealing about building a strong marriage no and I want to talk about the foundation of a strong marriage, no? the fundamentals of a strong marriage, and finally, the fruit of a strong marriage. No? And I want you to see from Scripture what God has to say no? about sa uh, uh, usaping ito. No? And I want to help us no, understand that building a strong marriage is not so much no, finding the right person as it is about being the right person. So let's consider the thoughts together no as uh, we think about building a strong marriage no so number 1 uh, the foundation of a strong marriage no so ano nga ba yung foundation no and uh, when we say foundation siguro lahat tayo ay familiar no sa structure no parts ng bahay and one of the most important thing no pagka gumagawa ng bahay or isang structure no uh, a horizontal structure ay uh, kailangan po ng tinatawag na foundation so uh, even no sa ating uh, sa sa marriage no ay uh, kailangan din po no ng matibay no na pundasyon no 
the foundation of a strong marriage is that it was actually no said sa Psalm 127 verse 1 except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord keep the city the watchman waketh but in vain and uh, itong verses na to no ay uh, actually these verses no teaches us the truth that every endeavor in life must be based on the relationship with God. No? Nothing on this earth no, na ginagawa ng tao, no, dapat i-separate natin sa Panginoon. No? Uh, sabi sa Bible, except no, maliban na ang Panginoon, no, ang magtatag ng bahay, no, ay uh, magsisi, mas, mas, mawawala ng saysay no? uh, kung hindi kasama ang Panginoon. So, without God, uh, without God, no, when we build our family, no, uh, it, it's nothing. No? It's nothing. Why? Because uh, it, is, it is God who, who gives us direction. It is God who gives us wisdom. It is God who protects the family. No? So, marapat lang no, na ang Panginoon no, yung ating uh, unahin. No? So, except that the Lord will build the house, they labor in vain. When, kung yung ating no, uh, uh, family no, ay uh, walang Panginoon, then uh, uh, it will be, it, it will lead no, sa, sa pagkasira no, eventually. It is because of the fact that only God is eternal. No? Ang Panginoon lang yung eternal. Tayo, no, we are we are doomed to destruction because man has fall short of the glory of God, no? Then each one of us, no, is what heading actually to to damnation, to hell. Only it is because of our savior, no, na nagkaroon ng destruction, no? He stands between the gap, no? He stands in the door of of hell, no, and redirect the traffic. It is because He is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. So without Jesus Christ as the foundation of a marriage, uh, the family will be in ruin. I have remembered the story in the Bible about the wise man, the wise and foolish man. Um, each of them ay gumawa no, ng bahay, but they... they they have the same mat materials, but uh, the difference is that uh, nagpatayo sila sa magkaibang lugar. No? Yung isa nagpatayo doon sa bahagi no, na sand, at yung isa naman ay nagpatayo doon sa rock. So uh, that's the difference between the two. No? And uh, in the course of time, no, paglipas ng panahon, dumaan yung bagyo, dumaan yung baha, no? At guess no, what had happened. The one who was built on the rock stand firm, stood still, because it was built on a strong foundation. No? And we know who's that rock no, in the Bible. The rock is Jesus. So if you build your life no, on the Lord Jesus Christ, it will be a strong life no a strong family is a family that is built on the foundation which is god so without god no we can do nothing sabi ng bible we can do nothing all are just temporary in this world and again as i said no the only eternal is god no and if we we will not connect no to that eternal one to the god who is eternal no then we are nothing. Because sabi ng Bible, heaven and earth will pass away. It will be in ruin someday. God will destroy all the works of man. And what will be left? No? The people who have God in their life. Now, no? Is your family 
uh, a family that is built on the foundation which is God or a family that is built on yourself and the principles of this world. So if it is by God, no, then we have we have uh, security. No, na whatever will happen, ay alam natin na it was secured in God because our foundation is God. Our rock, no, our uh, our refuge, no. Sabi sa Bible, God is our refuge. God is a strong tower. God is the rock, no. So my friend, uh, uh, if you want to build a strong marriage, build it in the Lord Jesus Christ. Start with God. Because God is love. And uh, love is necessary, no? it's, it's essential, no? and it's vital no? sa family life. Pag walang, pag wala ang, pag wala, pag hindi kasama ang Panginoon, then it will be nothing. No? Walang patutunguan, walang direction, no? walang patutunguan, walang destination because there's, there's no one. No? Because only God can give you direction. Only God that can give you light. No? Ang Panginoon lang makapagbibigay nun. So without God, no, uh, you, you take away God in the picture of marriage, then it is nothing. No? It is nothing. Wala pong patutunguan, walang direction, at walang, walang kasiguraduhan. No? And there is no security in that. Because one day, lahat tayo ay, no, will be judged. No? It depends kung paano natin pinamuhay no yung ating buhay dito sa mundo so my friend no i hope no that this afternoon ang lahat na nakikinig no you your foundation for your marriage life is god your foundation for your family is god no because without god you are nothing what do i mean by this nagagawin nating foundation what do i mean by that no What do I mean by that? No, by saying that God is our foundation is that we acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Savior. We acknowledge that the only way to God the Father is Jesus Christ. Na walang makakaparoon no, sa Ama, sabi sa John chapter 14, verse 6, walang makakaparoon sa Ama without Jesus Christ. So, we have God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son, which is Jesus Christ. So now no Sabi ni Jesus Christ he is the way no He is the only truth and he is the only life He is the giver of life He is the only truth Truth is necessary because tayo no hindi natin alam yung truth hindi natin alam yung katotohanan Walang kung walang katotohanan wala tayong basis no kung paano natin ipapamuhay yung ating buhay no di ba If there's no truth, there's no uh there's no basis no for living your life. If there's no life, then ano, anong kabaliktaran ng life? The death, no? So, 'yun yung Panginoon. He is the way, the truth, and the life, no? And that no one can come to the Father because The only mediator that stands between God and man is Jesus Christ. Why is is that no? Why is that uh why, why is that true no na si Jesus Christ? It is because he is the one who mediate no. Siya po yung nagbigay ng kanyang buhay no. And he shed his blood on the cross just to pay your sins. Kay bigan ang buhay natin ay maikli lang no. And uh, if if you don't know, no, I would like to remind you that the average span of life is 70 years. If uh, ma ano no, malakas ka pa, no, it will extend to 80 years, no. But 
you know, kahit sabihin nating 100 years, no? What is that as to compare sa eternity? So, kaibigan, no? Prepare your life. And uh, look at your life in the lens of God, no? As eternal. Uh, I want you to think about this, this this afternoon, my friend, no? Na gawin mong pundasyon ng iyong buhay si Jesus Christ. No? Uh, pag nasa harap ka na ng kamatayan, you want yourself to be secure, no? And no one in this world can give you security except God. I tell you, pag nasa harap ka na ng kamatayan, you would like yourself to be secure. And the only security you can find in this world is God. Because He is the one who gives life. So that is why no, you need no, to build your life on that rock, which is Jesus Christ. So now, I want to share to you, my friend, no, mga nakikinig ngayon, dahil kailangan mo si Jesus Christ, no, kailangan mo siyang tanggapin na yung tagapagligtas. Uh, he is the Savior. He was called Messiah. He was called the Savior. And we need redemption. We need reconciliation. At si Jesus Christ yung gumawa nun. Sabi nga sa Bible, no, without, without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And we know, we know, no, Here in the Philippines, no, hindi na natin kailangan pang uh, turuan no, kung sino yan. No, sino yung nagbayad na ating kasalanan. We know that. No? That Jesus Christ no, gave His life. No, He gave up His life to, to pay for your sin. No? Binayaran na ni Jesus Christ. May regalong nakahanda sa bawat isa. The only thing is that no, you need to believe. You need to repent of your sin. You need to ask God no, for forgiveness and that you turn away from your sin and you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. What does it mean, Savior? No? Savior because uh, makasalanan tayo no? at ang bayad ng kasalanan ay kamatayan no? sa impyerno. Pero binayaran lahat yon ni Jesus Christ nung namatay sa sakros. And He wants you today to receive that gift of eternal life. Libre lang yan eh, no? Walang bayad, no? But you need no, to surrender your life and you need to repent of your sin and turn away from it and acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Savior. He's the one who paid your penalty on the cross. Binayaran na niya, no? Sabi nga niya, no, doon sa cross, no, it is finished. Your past, present, and future sin has been forgiven. The only thing you need to do is that to believe. No, sabi ng John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Whosoever believes, no, it is not bound, bound by, by uh, gender, by social status, no, by religion. No? Receive Jesus Christ no, as your Savior. Tanggapin mo siya na iyong tagapagligtas. And gawin mo siyang Panginoon. He must be enthroned sa iyong buhay, no? sa iyong puso, that He must be the priority of your life no? when you receive Him as your Savior and Lord. So my friend, if you want to build no, a strong marriage, build it in the foundation And that foundation is God. Because except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain no? that build it. Walang kabuluhan, no? you will just labor in vain. Pagka you, if you live your life without God, no? if you build your family without God, walang kabuluhan. Bakit? No? It will be, uh, it will, you just, you're just going to destruction. No? Papunta sa destruction, no? yung buhay no ng ba bawat taong walang panginoon sa kanilang buhay so si Jesus Christ lang kasi yung acceptable sa God the Father he is the only one accepted by God the Father if you don't have his righteousness you are not acceptable and because you are not acceptable no you will die in your sin 
and uh, and the place no where it was no be be judged no is is in hell and with in hell no without without the presence of god no for the rest of eternity because you know uh, namuhay ka sa mundo na hindi mo kasama ang panginoon no reject mo yung panginoon god is just uh, giving you no the the life you wanted no to live and uh, the life no na walang panginoon ay andun no sa sa hell my friend no Jesus Christ, no, ang Panginoon natin, He doesn't want you to suffer in hell. That is why, no, most of His preaching, no, ay mas madami pa nga, no, na sinabi si Jesus Christ na warning, no, about sa hell, no, kaysa sa pag-preach niya about heaven. Why? No, it is because He doesn't want you to be there. Sabi ng 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, is not willing that any should perish. He doesn't want you to to perish in hell but he wants you to have everlasting life that is why we do this message no we are preaching this message my friend tanggapin mo yung panginoon as your savior make him the foundation of your life no uh, receive him no as your savior and lord next no next <clears throat> Uh, with regards no sa building the uh, strong marriage is the fundamentals of a strong marriage when we say fundamentals primary rule no? uh, principles uh, na yung essential na mga principles the central no rule no or primary rule of a strong marriage is eto po no love loyalty respect and faithfulness Ito yung mga fundamentals of a strong marriage. When we say love, no, sa Bible ay uh, meron isang chapter no na talagang it focuses on on love, no, about love. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, no, verse 4 to 6, no. Itong chapter na to ay naka-focus about sa love. Paul describes the kind of love we are talking about no in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 6, no. A closer look no, of love's character is in order here. No? Itong pagkasunod-sunod ng no, pagkasulat no? about love. No? So, number one, sa fundamentals of a strong marriage is love. No? So, when we speak of love, we are not talking about the kind of love na love na nakikita natin or definition ng love no, sa social media or sa Hollywood. No? That is not the kind of love. No? The kind of love that was portrayed, no? that is portrayed in Hollywood is sa mga movies and televisions is depict love as nothing more than about sexual desire. Parang doon lang, no? nakaikot. But that, that is not, no? Yes, no, it was included, but that is not the central part no? of what we call love. No? While the sexual relationship within the context of marriage is very, very important. No? So, even it flows no from deeper or more spiritual kind of love no? so uh love no is uh essential no it is uh, the primary rule no uh it is the fundamental no it is part of the fundamental of a strong marriage so si paul i uh, paul describes it actually no the kind of love we are talking about is uh sinabi diyan sa first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 to 6 number 1 no Love suffers long. No? Um, love suffers long. Actually, itong word na to is uh, yung pag ano dito no pag interpret is uh, very literal no. Uh, long suffering no or you suffer long. So this word actually uh, me- means no patient endurance even when provoked. So patient endurance even when provoked no kahit na uh, kahit na you are under no provocation di ba sa pagsasama no bilang husband and wife there will be times no that may mga mga arguments so may mga times na napo-provoke no eto yon no yung yung love no a character ng love 
that love suffers long, na meron siyang patient endurance that even when provoked ay kaya mong tiisin, no? You can endure because of this, no? If you have love. So love suffers long, no? This is the fun- fundamental, no, of a strong marriage. So dadaan no sa maraming mga mga misunderstanding at pag-aaway, no? But if you have love for one another, no, you you can remain, no, uh, patient, no. Even when provoked, you are long-tempered, and love does not retaliate. Yon po, no, yung nagagawa, no, sa ating buhay. Ito yung yung dapat, no, na primary role. Next is is kind. No love is kind. No this word actually refers to active goodness. No, it is never hateful or mean. Love is kind in words and actions. So uh, this is very essential, din, no, sa pagtatag uh, no ng isang uh, matibay no na na marriage no is being kind. Love is kind in words and actions. Next is envy at not, no? Love does not envy, no? Sa mag-asawa, no? Uh, usually sa ngayon kasi, no, yung mag-asawa ay may kanya-kanyang sahod, no? May kanya-kanyang buhay, no? May kanya-kanyang career. And nangyayari is that uh, 'di ba? Uh, if we do not view marriage as a teamwork, no? na pagka may na-achieve yung isa ay no na feel mo na nai-insecure ka dahil mas mataas yung sahod niya, mas madami siyang achievements, no? So that is not love, no? Because love envy at not. It does not envy, no? True love is not jealous instead of being jealous when others prosper or excel. Love is pleased when they do well, no? If you have love for one another, you will be what you will be happy when others are excel, excelling no doon sa kanilang field ng kanilang trabaho no ng kanilang ginagawa no if they excel no and they succeeded and dapat matutuwa din tayo no because we're not we're not different from each other no actually ang pag-aasawa ay eh, tinawag nga na ano eh one flesh no nagiging one flesh so dapat ito ay wala na no yung envy na ito no even sa sa salary no sometimes nagkakaroon ng insecurities no dahil mas mataas yung sahod ni Mrs no kaysa sa kay Mr <laughs> so i hope no na this is not eh, something you should uh, you should uh, uh, have in conflict with no uh, rather mag uh, maging ano maging masaya no pagka nakaka-achieve no at na umaangat yung isa no because you are one team no kahit sa basketball di ba uh, if you are playing the 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 sport no if you are into basketball no you it's hard to win kung may kanya-kanya kayong agenda no kanya-kanya kayong gustong mangyari no gusto mo maging MVP ka no gusto rin yung isa siya din yung maging MVP no so gaagawa ng ng bola no kung sino talaga yung magsu-shoot Whereas if the team will play like they will be playing it with team- teamwork, no, then uh, most probably they will succeed. Because uh, family life is also like no, uh, a sport. No, may the kailangan may teamwork. So envy it not. Love does not envy. No, next is want it not itself. Literally, this phrase means does not make a parade. No, does not brag, no. Love does not brag. Is that does not draw attention to itself or what it is doing, no. So uh I hope no that that in 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 uh sa ano no pag uh, sasama ng husband and wife, no, is uh wala itong tinatawag na uh envy, no. And uh vaunted not itself, no. So uh does not make a parade, no. Love does not brag. It does not draw attention to itself. No, yung pag, di ba? Uh, no, sana wala. No, yung pag nagkukwento is palaging 
ako, no? me, myself, and I, no? then uh, that kind of uh, you know, discussion is about being, uh, no? being proud of oneself. And uh, sabi sa Bible, love does not brag. It does not draw attention to itself. Next, no, is not is not pop up, no. Love does is not pop up. Love is not arrogant or proud, no? and it does not demand to be number one. Yung palagi kang tama, no. Kahit alam mo namang mali ka na, no. Uh, ikaw palagi yung dapat masunod. Na, hindi dapat no ganon, no. If you want to build no a strong marriage, you should uh, cons- be considerate, no. Consider one another. It does not demand to be number one. Because love is, di ba, yung agape na klase ng love, is you are after doon sa welfare ng iyong minamahal. And you are always looking how to be, how to do good no, for, your, for the object of your love. And in this case, your husband or your wife, no? So you will you will be always you no know, looking how you can be a blessing to your partner to your to your spouse. Diba yun dapat no? So love is not arrogant it does not demand to be number one. It it seeks the highest good of the object of his love. Next is not love is not pop up. Love is not arrogant no. It's not proud. Next is love does not behave itself unseemly. Love is never rude. But it always treats others with compassion, consideration, and respect. No, there's always respect. Sa bawat isa. Uh, always treats others with with compassion, with kindness, with consideration and respect. So, dito madalas no nawawala yung pagmamahal sa isat isa because pag kayong respect ay nawawala na rin, no. Unti-unti, no, yung pagmamahal ay mawawala na rin. Because love does not behave, no. It must be, no. That love does not, it is not, no, does not behave itself unseemly. So next is love seeketh not her own. True love is never selfish and self-centered. Yung gusto mo palagi na lang ikaw yung, no. Uh, para sa iyo lagi yung lahat no uh, kahit na nahihirapan na kayo no ay gusto mo uh, spend pa rin yung yung pera no sa sa mga gusto mong no paglaanan no you are not thinking with the, the highest good of the family if you are that kind of person then you are seeking your own no? and that is not love Because love seeketh not her own. So true love is never selfish and uh, self-centered, but is actively interested in what will profit others. It never looks at itself first, but it always considers another ahead of itself. Yung yung tinitingnan mo kung paano ka magiging mak- makatulong or maging blessing no sa sa iyong spouse no Next is love is not easily provoked True love keeps no record of evils done to it but is willingly endures all slights and injuries it is not irritable uh, How is your life no with your spouse I hope that you are not easily provoked because true love keeps no record of wrong. Madalas kasi no ay nagiging historical no. Yung pag-aaway laging pagpagkaganito no. Na kahit da gaano nakatagal yung nangyari no, yung kasalanan ng spouse pagka nagkaroon ng away na brought up ulit no. Yung mga 10 years ago no, yung mga 20 years ago, 5 years ago Natatandaan pa talaga no may time, may month no, may exact minute pa nga no, may second no. Kung anong oras ba yon na ginawa yung kasalanan no. So I I I'm, I'm sad no to uh, to know no may mga ganitong pag-aaway no na no sasabihin pa talaga yung mga nagawa na in the past. Now that's not love. Because love 
thinks no evil, takes no worthless inventory <clears throat> of what has done. No? So, yung ano, na yung mga matagal na, no, na ginawa. Kasi hindi yung karakter ng Panginoon. Even God, when He forgives us, no, sabi sa Bible, as far as the east is from the west, so far has He removed our transgressions. And sabi pa nga sa Bible, Your sins will I remember no more. No? At uh, babaon sa, sa pinakailalim ng dagat. No? Yung parang ganun yung, yung illustrations no, ng ginawa ng Panginoon. Sa, Your sins will I remember no more. Do you know na mayroong part yung dagat na uh, kahit tapunan mo ng toxic, no? na mga chemicals in just few seconds ay uh, nagiging malinis ulit yung surface ng dagat. Ganon siya makakabilis mag-replenish ng no ng pa- paano niya linisin. No? Ganon yung Panginoon no sa atin. He is a, 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 a father to us no. And sabi nga sa Bible, as far as the east is from the west, so far as he remove our transgressions. Imagine that, though, that kind of forgiveness ng Panginoon. And in same manner, ganun din dapat yung ating pagpapatawad. We do not keep records of evil because keeping record of evil is not of God, it's of evil. Hindi po yun no, gawain ng Panginoon. Because when God forgives, He forgets. Next is rejoice not in iniquity. Love does not rejoice in sin, no? So nakita mo nang ginawa, no? Eh, kasalanan, natatawa ka pa, no? Pinagtatawanan pa, no? So that's offensive sa Panginoon, you know? That even our the slightest gesture, you know, body language na tayo po yung natutuwa, no, sa isang kasalanan nagawa, no? Do you know that God hates that kind of Act. Because love rejoices not in iniquity. Love does not rejoice in sin. Next is rejoice it. Love rejoices it in the truth. No? Ito yung the opposite side of rejoice it not in iniquity, but rather rejoice it in the truth. It rejoices when truth is proclaimed and when truth wins. Uh, when the truth wins the victory, you, you rejoice. No? Because you know that the righteousness of God reigns, no? And that doon ka masaya. No? Hindi ka nagiging masaya pagka uh, nagahari yung kasalanan. No? But you are rejoicing in the truth. Love is glad for the truth even when the truth hurts. Love is glad when truth wins the day. Yun po yung yun po yung kailangan natin no? to have a strong uh, family no a strong marriage no next is loyalty no the primary foundation no? of a strong marriage includes loyalty loyalty speaks of uh, actually itong Ephesians chapter 5 verse 31 it speaks about the law of living and cleaving no 5:31 sinabi dito that For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. So, ito ay, uh, this speaks about loyalty. No? God expected of the first uh, married no, na couple sa Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. No? Ito yung expectations ng Panginoon. And it was, it, it is what He expects of every other married couple. When a man and a woman are married, there is a fundamental shift in the relationships to others. So, na change na no yung yun na yung tinatawag na living and cleaving. They will be they will be one no, they will be one flesh. At uh, dapat no na separate sila doon sa sa parents no. Uh, it is because uh, you cannot establish your your you cannot establish well your family no. Kung nasa uh, isang bubong ka pa, no, ng parents mo, no? how will you raise your children? How will you be a good husband? No? If uh, 
meron pang ano no intervention no ng parents mahirap no so that is why kailangan no na uh, you have a separate no place with your spouse no so uh, that speaks of loyalty kasi pwedeng mahati yung loyalty that, that at nags, dyan nagsisimula yung yung conflict no pagka yung mother ay uh, pagka yung anak no whether it be babae lalaki ay ano pa rin no dependent pa rin sa mother sa father no dyan nagsisimula yung conflict so loyalty no and your loyalty no ay dapat na sa iyong spouse no so The word joint means of course no I, I do not I do not say no na i disrespect natin yung ating parents ay it's not it's not my idea no actually sinasabi sa Ephesians is honor them no as long as you live no you honor your parents your mother and your father no? what i'm saying here is about the conflict it may cause if you are still in the no in in same house with your parents no So, yung iniiwasan natin dito yung conflict. I'm not saying na it is dishonor, no. But rather what what I am yet yeah, what I am saying about is the conflict that may cause, no. If you are, no, with your with your parents still, no, after you have get married. So the word joined means to be glued, no. It is the idea of two things being bonded together in such a way that they cannot be torn apart. So yun po yung relationship mo sa iyong spouse, no. It is a band so strong and so deep that you cannot tell where one begins and the other ends, no? So this kind of loyalty is spilled out actually sa 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7, no? Ito yung loyalty na dapat meron. Is that beareth all things, uh, and uh, first, no, beareth all things. Loyal even when things are tough. So... How is your relationship with your spouse? Are you still loyal when things things are getting tougher and tougher? No, nagiging difficult yung life? Or pumupunta ka sa iba, no? And you, no? Nagiging masama patuloy yung spouse mo, no? Kasi pinag... Doon mo ipopour out yung iyong frustrations, no? When things are getting tough. You go to other people, no, instead of reconciling and talking about it, no. It's kasi, no, ang, ang manifestation ng loyalty is you bear all things, no. It doesn't walk out, no, in the day of trouble. You still cleave, no, you still cling to your spouse even when troubles come, no. At dapat nga sa mga time, no, na may, may mga ganong bagay no na nangyayari you, you must stick to your partner your to your spouse because that's the time you need each other no na mag uh, mag encourage no so beareth all things next is believe it all things loyalty believes in one's mate dito na papasok yung mga trust issues no sa pagsasama no as husband and wife so because no uh, as you exchange vows di ba For better or for worse, till death do us part, no? Uh, you have covenanted to, to each other. That you will be loyal to each other, no? And you should believe, no? It's one's word. Dahil pag wala yung trust, no? Then what what is more important relationship, no? Is that, no? Bahagi yun, no? Nang, uh, nang mga importanting bagay, no? Sa pagsasama is yung trust. If trust will be destroyed, no, then eventually the relationship will be destroyed. So that's why, no, dapat nating sundin ito that love or love believes all things, no. And this is also part of being loyal, no. You believe, no, your spouse. Hope at all things. Loyalty never looks for the worst in them, but only believes the best. No, you believe the best, no. At saka no sa mga spouse na kinikwento yung yung negative no sa kanilang negatibong bagay sa kanilang mga yung partner nila no it is it is uh, it is actually 
ano no offensive no and uh, it's not good no it does not build no the the marriage it destroys actually you are destroying your own flesh because you are you are called to be one flesh no to each other no man and woman will become one flesh so paano yan no yung parang part ng yung body sinasaktan mo you are inflicting your own wound ika nga no So love no or loyalty also is uh, itong sinasabi dito is endure at all things. Loyal loyalty sticks it out no. Loyalty does not abandon the fort. Yung pagka no may mga nababalitaan tayo na family na naghirap for so long until such time na hindi na nakayan ng asawa no ng isang ng spouse na umalis na lang ng bahay no. Ang ganon no. So love does not No, loyalty no I actually sticks sticks out no. Loyalty does not abandon the port ikanga no. It endures all things. Because when all else fails, sabi ng Bible no, love will remain no. Next is not only loyalty but also respect no. Mutual respect is fundamental for any marriage that expects long-term success. If you want to Have no a long term success no. Dapat merong mutual na respect no. Sabi dito sa Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 to 24 no. These verses actually no. Have been among the most loved and hated of the New Testament. Some men love to hang these verses over the heads of their wives and demand that they fall down before them in obedience. Some woman reads these verses and fell and feel that they make wife inferior to the husband need their interpretation is correct so parang ano no ginagamit itong verse na to para sabihin na pamukha sa isa at isa no yung kanilang dapat gawin no? but that is not no god is not establishing the husband as some kind of dictator in the home nor is god relegating the wife to a place of servitude di ba the word submit means to arrange under the truly spiritual wife recognizes god's order in the home she understands that it is reflection of god's order in the church jesus is the head of the church and we are to submit to his leadership headship no so see si jesus christ as the head no and we must submit no sa headship ng panginoon The husband has been given the responsibility of leading the home because without her order, no, the chain of command na, na clear ay hindi magiging magkaroon ng order no, sa bahay. No? So the husband has been given the responsibility of leading the home and godly wife follows the husband's leadership willingly and humbly. So thank you so much no, sa ating mga nanonood no, sa hapong ito. Hey, Ma'am Imelda De La Torre is watching no and uh Biahini Blink no is watching Meg uh, good good afternoon no and uh Leona Cuenco no uh, good afternoon te no so uh this is part no of uh what we call uh building no or this is the primary rule no, of building a strong marriage no So the husband is not to demand submission because uh yung binasa natin kanina sinabi doon wives submit to your husbands but yung command naman sa husband is to love their own wives as Christ loved the church mas mabigat yung mabigat na ano yun no na command no although no nakikita natin yung submission as parang parang ano is it's kind of humiliation no but that is not no that is not no that is part of God's order in the home no na kung ating susundin ay magkakaroon ng no ng harmony yung ating tahanan di ba uh, how how will a person or a, a wife no is uh, will have hard time submitting to her godly husband no when uh, the husband is sacrificing himself loving the wife no Diba? I know naman na pagka ito sinunod natin no sa sa family no then there will be peace and there will be harmony no. 
So the husband is not to demand submission from the wife, but rather it is the wife who will submit herself, no? Freely, no? She is to offer freely and lovingly the submission to her own husband, no? Ay uh, gagawin niya, no? In, in her own, uh, in her own, no? Uh, it's uh, freely, no? And lovingly, no? So women are not subservient to men. They are equals, no? And even in the home, but God has invested leadership, no? Sa husband and he will help the husband responsible, no? Sa kanyang tahanan. So he will give an account for his actions as the head of the home when he stands before God, no? Next is, uh, that he is to cherish, no? He is to cherish, to bring maturity, no? And he is to nourish, no? to bring to maturity or to soften with heat, no? Itong cherish pala, yung ibig sabihin nito is to soften with heat, no? The husband is to give tender love to his spouse. This is the primary want and need of most women. They need to feel loved and they crave special attention. They need time, attention, and sense of security. And he is to nourish, to bring to maturity. A godly husband helps his wife to reach her fullest potential in God. No? And he helps her to grow by meeting her needs and by being encouragement to her life. And lastly, no, dito sa ating second point is faithfulness. It speaks about the bond that exists between the husband and the wife. It is a bond that can only exist between two people. No? There is no room in the marriage relationship for a third party. No? I have uh, solemnized a uh, wedding no, uh, noong 11. No? And uh, uh, what I've said is that uh, you are entering into a relationship, a covenant relationship that only death, no, is the exit, no? Ang exit lang, no, dun sa covenant na gagawin nila is kamatayan, no? Uh, whether magkaroon man ng problema, no, along the way, uh, the thing, no, uh, that they should do, no, is that they have to reconcile. Hindi po hindi po doon ano hindi hindi po kasama doon yung option na lumabas na lang sa relationship no? If we are going to obey no the the word of God no? that is what the Bible is saying no? na ganon no uh, may problema no uh, hanapan ng solusyon no i reconcile no i repair uh, yun po yung gustong mangyari pang Kaya ngayon no parang sinasuggest na magkaroon na lang ng tinatawag na uh, i-rehis yung parang ano yung marriage will be like parang rehistro ng sasakyan na pagkakinasal kayo merong duration na say for example 5 years I I hope and I pray that this uh, uh, Republic Act will not be pursued no because this will create no a havoc no uh, talagang magkakaroon ng crisis no sa family uh, dahil sa panukalang batas na ito and i i'm praying na hindi ito matuloy no pag nangyari yon parang sasakyan no kung gusto mo pang i-renew yung sasakyan mo then patuloy mo pang magagamit diyan sa kalsada pag hindi na di wala tatanggalin na yan diyan pagka ginamit mo pa yan then huliin ka ng LTO parang ganon yung mangyari i hope and i pray that this will not be pursued no that um, our our covenant relationship no to our spouse is forever and that only death no can take us out of that covenant relationship yun po yung gustong mangyari ng panginoon sa bawat uh, tahanan no and he doesn't want no hindi actually no kahit sa bible yung divorce no it's not God, no? Who wanted to have that kind of thing, no? Sa, sa family. It is because of the hardship of man's uh, heart, no? That God allows, allows it. But God's intention for family is that for them to live, no? Uh, as long as they live. No? Uh, they, they live together as long as they have life, no? 
yun po yung part ng ano eh nung tinatawag na commitment no doon sa sa wedding no uh, for better or for worse till death do us part kaya only death can separate no the husband and wife that whenever they have problem no in their life as husband and wife they should always seek no to reconcile and they should always seek no to to repair no the any damage no uh, in between no sa kanilang relationship because uh, that is what god wants no to be in a marriage no so next is the fruit of a strong marriage the fruit of a strong marriage no ay may tatlong points dito no and i will run through no nang mabilis because we 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 don't have time anymore no the fruit of a strong marriage is that number one, a strong marriage sanctifies the home in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 to 22 and verse 25 and 29 a marriage that is live live out according to the principles of the word of god is a marriage that keeps god at the center so pag na ipamuhay natin no, yung salita ng panginoon yung principles no na nabanggit dito kanina no di ba it, it's just like heaven in earth na magkaroon ng peace na magkaroon ng love no sa isang tahanan sa isang marriage relationship because we live out God's principles no so a marriage that is lived out according to the principles no principles of God's word is a marriage that keeps God at the center and it produces a home where Jesus is king and that God is sovereign. No? It is a marriage that opens the door for God to bless in amazing ways. No? So if, if a family is a family that follows the principles of God, that family opens the door for God's blessing. You want your family to be blessed? Then follow God's principles. Yun po yung di ba kahit naman sa Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you that's God's principles So good afternoon no tayong bibati muna no nang mabilis lang sa ating mga viewers no kay Ma'am Carolyn Kahilig is watching no thank you so much ma'am and kay Ma'am Che Padilla Luzada no, is watching from Hong Kong. No? Thank you so much, ma'am. Next is a strong marriage glorifies the Savior. So a strong marriage glorifies the Savior. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 32, 32 no? Oh, sorry, Ephesians 5, 32. A marriage that operates according to the principles of God's word brings glory to the Lord. No, yun po yung promise ng Panginoon. God is glorified when we live out our marriage according to His precepts, according to the Word of God. Sabi ko nga, no, binigay ko yung, yung Bible dun sa kanila, and I want them, no, that whenever you have problems, sabi ko, I ask them, what, ano, kaya ang, ano kayang problema na hindi kayang isolve ng salita ng Panginoon? So, they were silent, no, they, uh, because there's none, no? Wala. Walang problema na hindi kayang lutasin, no? isold ng salita ng Panginoon. Because it's there, no? it's our manual for life. And if we live out our life no? by the word of God, then God is glorified and God no? will pursue that family with his blessing. You want to be blessed, then follow God's principles. No? Because when, we, when a family glorifies God, no? then God pours out his blessing. To that family. Next is a strong marriage witnesses to the lost. So a strong godly marriage is a witness to, the, to his lost generation because it is living, breathing example of Christ and his church. It's de it demonstrates the power of the love of God and the grace of God to all who witness. Because you live out the word of God, no? Na nakikita sa paligid na pag, pag mayroon kayong problema na hindi nila naririnig na nag-aaway. Although may mga misunderstanding kayo, naaayos agad, no? And by that, no, no, yung mga tao sa paligid niyo, yung mga neighbor niyo, ma-observe ma nila, itong family na to, parang hindi ko naririnig na nag-aaway. ba? May, may kanta na pag, pag si Jesus Christ ay 
Kasi ilonggo yan eh. Pag si Kristo, yung, si Kristo sa panimalay, masadyang balay. No? Pag yawa sa panimalay, permi lang awa. Eh, no? So pagka si Kristo ay nasa bahay, no? ay magkakaroon ng, ano, ng magandang pagsasamahan. No? Pero pagka ang jablo no, ay yang nagahari no sa bahay no then palagi na lang away diba as you you observe uh, a family that that doesn't recognize god as god no as lord is a family na palaging magulo because uh, they were there there by themselves no yung sinusunod no sila yung god no so palaging away no yung isa mayroon siyang truth yung isa mayroon din siyang truth no So walang basihan yung yung para sa kanila may kanya-kanya silang ano eh. 'Di ba? And so palaging away kasi para, para para sa kanila sila yung tama, para sa isa siya yung tama ano. No, so end up, no, they end up always no na palaging nag-away because because of that. But no, the family that recognizes God no. Ah, uh, yung salita ng Panginoon yung sinusunod. May isang truth lang silang sinusunod. And that harmonizes the the band in the family and yun yung gustong mangyari ng Panginoon so nagkakaroon ng peace and harmony sa loob ng bahay no and naiiwasan yung away because of that because that that's God's wisdom no sa family next is a strong marriage instructs the next generation so a strong marriage instructs the next generation Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 no sabi diyan no uh, sa verses na ito sa Ephesians chapter 6, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. No? So a strong marriage instructs the next generation. No? So in these verses, si Apostle Paul dito, no, ay nagsabi siya no, sa mga uh, kabataan, no, sa mga anak. No? Uh, Paul speaks to the children in the home. No? And that uh, children have a duty to submit to their parents. Diba? Pag ito'y sinunod, uh, the result is harmony, no? They will be living, the family will be living in peace, no? With each other. But sabi dito, no? Uh, but I, dito sa, sa husband, no? Is that uh, sa husband and wife, no? Ito ay sinasabi ni ng ni ni Apostle Paul sa husband and sa wife no so we need to realize that our children learn about marriage and about how to treat their future spouse by watching you so by leaving this out no sa inyong bahay na nakikita ng anak no na pinapalagan ng tatay yung nanay at yung nanay pinapalagan yung yung kanyang asawa no na lalaki nakikita ng ng mga anak no and then later on as uh, they grow no yun yung na-observe nila uh, pag nagkaroon na sila ng kanilang kanya-kanyang family they will follow that that kind no of uh, of values so uh, whatever na na-observe nila kasi may tinatawag tayong formative years no from 0 to 12 that is the formative years of the children no and that they form their ideals during those times And whatever they saw from their parents, no, yun yung mga ideals na susundin nila pagtanda. Kaya nga sinasabi sa Bible, train up the child in the way he should go, that when he is old, he will not depart from it. That is God's wisdom, no? Na sa early age ng bata, eh, nai-instill sa kanilang mind ang mga dapat nilang gawin. And as they grow old, na, na, nasusundan nila yun. Nakikita nila pagka birthday ng nanay, no? Uh, binibigyan ng flowers ng tatay at ng gift, no? At ganun din yung nanay, no? Makikita nila yung respect. So, the son, no? That brought up in this family, no? Will be a good husband to his wife someday. And the same, no? With, with the woman, the, 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 I mean, the, uh, the girl, no? Na anak. Pagka lumaki siya, no? Ay magkakaroon na, ng pag-respect, no? Sa kanyang husband. Because yun yung nakita niya sa kanilang family. And it will go on and go on generation to generation no? pagka tayo po ay sumusunod sa salita ng Panginoon. So I hope that uh, this uh, uh, discussion of us no, bless you this afternoon and I hope that we will be build, building no, a strong marriage. A marriage that glorifies 
God, no? a family no, that glorifies God because except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. You want your life, no, your, your family life, no, and your home to be blessed, no? make God the center of your home no? and that God will bless no? the home that glorifies God because his name is being glorified. So God will pour out his blessing to that home. So I hope and I pray na ang Panginoon na mag-bless no, sa ating mga tahanan. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we are so thankful this afternoon, Father God. We have run through our discussion with regards to how we're going to uh, raise our, our family and will be a blessing to, to the people around us. Lord, help us and uh, help us that the values that you have instructed us uh, will be reflected in our lives and in our homes, that the people around us will be uh, blessed by the way we live our life. Lord, thank you so much and I hope and I pray that each one na nakinig sa hapong ito ay na-bless Panginoon ng inyong salita. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for listening and uh, keep sharing no? and uh, like, follow, and share no? our Facebook page. And uh, as well as no? sa ating mga nakikinig no? sa, uh, sa ating uh, radio. No? sa 106.1. Thank you no kay Ma'am Caroline Kahilig no for watching. Uh Ma'am Chi Padilla Luzada no. Bibelin V Cordero and uh, Jerry Planas and Genesis Ticasid Seed no Pilian Vanil Vanilio Manga no. Thank you so much and may the Lord bless you no and uh, keep you no. Salamat sa inyong pakikinig sa hapong ito. God bless everyone. Thank you so much.